Well, as the seasons change, the projects are beginning to collect. Um, I haven't done much with the chainsaws for the last month or so for a variety of reasons. One is uh, a couple of my kids came back from their military service and we spent some time with the family this last few weeks. So saws have taken a, a back seat. And uh, farm related issues just took up a lot of time changing my work schedule for the winter time. But all the while saw projects have been collecting. Got one right here, which hopefully I'll get done today. Um, set of cases I built up for a 372, new bearings, new seals, 385, so those are projects that will be ongoing. Not quite sure on that one yet, it's at least going to get a piston, possibly more. And thanks to uh, Jim, there are a couple of 350 test rats, and I plan to build a, uh, an aftermarket version of that MS-180 just for kicks. That thing there was a, well, it was a very frustrating experience. Therefore, it's a pile of parts in a box right now. And along the way, I built this ugly thing. I left the uh, brass unpainted on that muffler, so it would kind of enhance its name. This is Cyclops. You're not going to see too much about that saw, but I'm going to use it today for one of the subjects I want to talk about. We talked about some very interesting tools that really make this game a lot easier to play. For example, that Husqvarna shop tool for splitting cases. Which brings me to the topic, and that is this. I think one of the most useful tools and most important tools to have if you're in this game is one of these and that's a good inductance tachometer and the reason why it's so important is yeah you can use a cheaper one I've got a few of those and you can get a ballpark number but when you're really tuning these saws it really pays to have an accurate number when you're setting the no load RPMs
Okay, so let's review what you just saw. What I did was I took Cyclops there and fired it up cold. Oh, it's about 20 degrees out, so yeah, it's a little chilly. And you know, I do this this time of year anyway because as the uh, air gets more density because of that lower temperature, you do have to add some more fuel, otherwise it will get lean. That saw there is not critical because I always set them rich anyway, which is probably what you saw there if you're paying attention. So once I had it warmed up and let it settle down into an idle, it was running about, what, uh, 2400? And then what I did is I brought it up to uh, top RPMs, no load, and you saw it fluctuate up around 13,000 RPMs, which is about right for that saw. That's, again, the big bore uh, Hudsel top end. I like to set them a little bit rich, especially this time of year, as you're getting into the winter time, as the temperatures drop, the density of the air goes up, which means you have to have per unit volume of air a little bit more fuel, so you richen up the carburetors. Um, 20 degrees, like it is right now, I guess it's 25 degrees. Um, I set that saw and saws like that at about 12.9, and I know I'm safe. If it drops a little more, I know that I'm not going to stick a saw because it's running too lean under load. Um, but the point is this. The point is, number one, paying attention to uh, the tune. And number two, having a tool this accurate and this capable in order to get it right, especially if you're a dealer. And I guess this is a good segue into a, another issue. In fact, some dealers really don't set them up. They just take them out of the box, put the bar and chain on there, adjust the chain, and out they go. Um, I am going there because I had a really disturbing conversation with such dealer. I'm not going to say who, where, or when, but basically said, yeah, we, we never put them on attack. We assume they're set up from the factory. Well, they're not. They're set up lean. They've always been lean for as long as I can remember. And when I spot checked a couple of the X torques, I got numbers like 13.4, 13.6, you know, uh, 13.5, which would have been good with the old style 372s, but that's a recipe for disaster for the new X torques. They got to be set 12, 9, uh, 13,000, that type of RPMs. Maybe this shouldn't be coming from me, a hobbyist. It should be coming from a pro or a dealer. But the fact of the matter is the new x Torque 372s need to be set at like 12, 9, 13,000 RPMs, no load, whereas the old 372s were set at 13,5. Um, why is that relevant? Well, because if it gets out of the box and gets put together, it sounds right to the guy who's used to the old 372s. It doesn't sound wrong. It doesn't throw a flag. So unless they put a tack on it, how do they know it's running too fast? And then if they have failures, they're going to blame the saw versus the dealer or whoever they got it from who didn't do a setup. And that hurts both the dealer and the brand. Um, so like I said, maybe I shouldn't be saying it, but um, 
you guys who like your Husqvarna's really need to make sure that you either have a tool to set the RPMs or have a dealer who does it. This tachometer I have right here is such a tool and I think one of the most valuable tools I've ever purchased. Anyway, that's my rant. Um, I'll put together a short video. Hopefully I can cut it down to five minutes. Another one of those tools that you really have to have if you want to play this game. I promised I wouldn't put uh, Cyclops on video. I lied. <laughs> there it is. Talk to you later, guys. Bye for now.